perfect place for someone who needs a place to crash and wants to do it at one of London's best addresses. No do-it-yourself required, it's all been done for you, and all for the cheeky price of 18 and a half million pounds. A lot of room, but essentially it's still a flat for 18 million pounds. That's quite correct. Uh, a lot of people will be horrified by that. Some will be offended by the yes. idea of it. Well, it, it's £5,000 a square foot. It is at the very high top of the range. But who's buying properties like this? Mayfair estate agent Peter Weatherall says contrary to popular perception, it's not just Russian oligarchs and Ukrainian millionaires. The biggest sale last year was to a Brit, £82 million. Uh, it's not in, we, we sold uh, in Mayfair, just under 50% is to UK-based people. Do you have any concerns about what it says about levels of inequality in the country in terms of housing? I think that when somebody buys any commodity like, like property uh, at the top end of the market, there is always going to be a trickle-down effect that um, will benefit the rest of the community. The price of the penthouse flat of this block in One Hyde Park in Knightsbridge made front page news today. It's just been sold for £140 million, pounds, breaking all purchase records for a flat in London. Property prices are now rarely out of the news. Just yesterday, the Deputy Governor of the Bank of England, Sir John Cunliffe, issued one of the strongest warnings yet that the housing market is entering into dangerous territory. But for many, it's not just about fueling a property boom, but it's about exacerbating inequality too. IT specialist Gary Kymack says he and his wife could only afford to part buy a flat under a shared ownership scheme. It's very difficult. It's an impossible economy. Um, so we struggled. Um, we found that with two good salaries, professionals, my wife and I both professionals, we couldn't, we couldn't approach uh, any respectable property. Multi-million pound apartments may be the stuff of dreams, but campaigners say they add to a harsh reality for many desperate for somewhere to live. Far too many very expensive properties in London are being bought specifically for their investment potential and are lying empty. That has an effect right the way through the market. There are signs that at the very top end, prices may be starting to slow slightly. The agents for this flat say there's no doubt it will sell very quickly. Jackie Long. Now, all this week, we've been...